Hey everyone and welcome back to part 2 of the NECA Mega Hall Alien slash Aliens uh, figures. Now, this happened really suddenly. I really didn't have any intention of picking up as many of these as I did. Uh, I did spend quite a bit of money in order to get older figures that I missed and uh, just literally one day I was sitting there and it was actually, and I have to make a point of this because I want to give a shout out to someone as well, or a few people. It's always YouTubers who get me back into NECA. Not that I ever get out of NECA, it's just that you, you know, you collect stuff, you collect NECA figures for a while, and then you get distracted by 1.6, you get into that again, and maybe even 1.4 scale stuff, and sometimes statues as well, just me personally. Um, but it's always the YouTubers who get me back into the NECA phase, like 100%. And um, this madness you're seeing before you, and some more madness to the right, which I'll show you in a minute, which is worth sticking around for was kind of brought on in part by this YouTuber if you can see his name there Nicholas I'm probably gonna murder his last name here host Etta host Etta is that how you say it but this dude he does great videos uh, don't know how long he's been around for but I get the impression he's relatively not new he's got quite a few videos but I it was his uh, I don't know which one it was but something triggered <laughs> my madness uh, but yeah, massive shout out to this guy. If you like NECA stuff, and if you don't already know about Nicholas, then do me a favor, go over and subscribe to the guy, because he's cool. He's got some great reviews. And also, Mr. Evil Cheese and his uh, partner, Zombie Cat. Great reviews, I love them. Nice to see them doing well, they're really doing well. Nice little pose there for the dog alien, which I think they're doing another one of. Uh, with a slightly different paint job, so that should be cool. I do love that figure. And it's starting to go up in price now. Um, definitely pick up some of these uh, you can get like a pack of 20 on eBay for 10 pounds these little necker stands or bases most of the feet will peg into them apart from this Ripley she does have holes in the bottom of her shoes but they're just not deep enough it's like they put the holes there but they forgot to actually make them you know holes <laughs> they just don't really work um, so yeah let's see what I got you've seen all this stuff in the last video and the latest stuff to arrive is this now look at that huh hmm that's right that's sick the alien queen is one of NECA's best pieces now this is something other reviewers uh, have said uh, the review spot mentioned there's three masterpieces that NECA have done obviously there's a lot more than that but if you had to choose three that really stand out he said this the spider gremlin which I also recently got uh, which I'll show you in a minute that's amazing and the Ed 209, which I've never actually seen, and I haven't even watched a video of that. Um, I've only ever really seen the Hot Toys Ed 209, so I am curious to check out the NECA one. Here is the power loader. I haven't put Ripley in here yet. I will do that soon. Um, got seven eggs. One of these eggs, the open one, came with Bishop, which is this one here. I got everything I need basically, you know what I'm all about, I want to do the photography and do showcase videos and stuff. I have everything I need now to do the most epic Aliens video ever. I mean, you've got the power loader, you've got Bishop, and Bishop ripped in half, you got the... I mean, you've got everything. Look at these aliens in the background with the head exploding, look at that. Just that alone. And that one there. I've got some madness coming your way guys, just give me a little bit of time. Obviously, uh, a video like this, of this epicness, will take a little while to produce, but it'll be worth it. You alien NECA fans out there, you're in for a treat. I got you. Uh, I'll bring you individual videos, my thoughts on the Queen. I won't, gonna, won't go into that now. It's still really fresh. I'm still getting used to her. Amazing paint job on her. But yeah, I'll do a video on her, a video on the power loader, a video on anything. Anything you want to know about, let me know. And in the meantime, I'm going to be getting on with making these uh, showcase videos for these guys. Do a proper alien war. I haven't actually put in her inner jaw. You get two, you get a kind of short stubby one that just sits inside and then the long one that protrudes 
out from the scene with the fight with Ripley and the power loader. Uh, poseability on this so far is fantastic, but the legs, I didn't expect to be as articulated as they are. Like, every knee joint moves, and even, like, two different points in the foot. Um, it's really, really special, this one, I have to say. Anyone on the fence, quickly grab this before it goes up in price and gets crazy. Now, with the 1-6 scale stuff, I know that uh, Hot Toys are making Ripley uh, from the first film, and from the second film, maybe even from Alien 3, who knows. Uh, and they are also doing the power loader. Uh, now the power loader doesn't tempt me because it's going to be massive and I just don't have space. Which is another reason why I decided to focus uh, mainly on NECA stuff when it came to aliens uh, and alien. You know I've got a few 1-6 uh, scale pieces in the collection. I've got the Hot Toys Big Chap, the Alien Warrior, the Dog Alien, the 1 4 scale. Uh, well both 1 4 scale Big Chaps that NECA have done. Um, and some 1 4 scale Predators. Well, sometimes I just can't resist. Uh, and I know that NECA are going to be doing a 1-4 scale Alien Warrior, which is this one. I am very curious to see how that turns out in 1-4 scale. Obviously with the big chat they totally remade it, so I know they're going to totally remake this as well. Imagine if they did the Dog Alien in 1-4 scale. That's the one I'm really kind of crossing my fingers for. And here is that pesky Alien Isolation Alien. Really sort of, I love the look of the figure, but really disappointed with, you know, if you saw my other video on it. A really wonky arm and uh, just can't get it to stand on anything other than this stand which is kind of an ugly stand it's a medicom stand and it's just not really suited to something like this but it's the only thing that'll hold him up so i'm still working on displaying him properly my seven inch big chap i guess like everyone has mega loose uh torso bit there super loose he just falls to the side and looks crazy this one also a uh, little bit wobbly but he's not as bad as the big chap. These guys are nice and stiff, both of them. That's the old one, still holds up pretty well. Dog alien, no problems there. Very pleased. Here you've got Kane. They couldn't get the likeness from John Hurt. So they just plunked a face hugger on his face, which is movie accurate. So win win. We're all happy. A very nice piece. Look at that detail. Maybe uh, do a nice little special. Give you guys like a rotating showcase special where just put everything in one video, just rotating a couple of times under some cool lighting so you can see it. Uh, now, I am actually waiting for two more versions of these guys. This is Hudson and Hicks. Uh, the more recent versions that came out, I am waiting for the original two versions of these guys coming from Mexico, so apparently it's going to take quite a while. And then we got Bishop, which does look good. The likeness is great, it's just the paint job. If I can get it to focus. See where the hair meets the skin? A little bit messy. Might even be able to fix that myself. Apparently the bishop figure is kind of problematic. Uh, some dodgy sort of stiff joints and stuff. But, you know, it's not like I need bishop to do major poses or anything. So, But this version of bishop will also come in very handy for the alien queen vid. Here is probably the most expensive one I had to fork out for. I believe she was around £40. But there was no way around it. Once I decided to commit, I needed this Ripley. I even got to the point where once I finally got her, I really didn't want to take her out of the package because it's just one of those things. But I did. You know how it is. Got to get him out of there. Let him breathe. And there's a Ripley from the first film. And Jonesy. And another version of Ripley from the first film with a more aggressive Jonesy. Although it looks like it's laughing there. I guess it's just the angle. It's actually hissing. Um, and the, yeah, the likeness to Ripley, I don't think you can really tell. In the first video I showed you, just in my hand, rotating the head, you can see the likeness is really good. Remember, there is a really bright light shining from this camera right in her face right now. That doesn't help. It makes things look very washed out and plain. In hand, these are all very impressive, and I'm super happy. Not disappointed with any of them. So, uh, trying to think of anything else I wanted to say. Now, you know how I love my backgrounds when it comes to figures, especially you know, when you get a nice background with a figure. Uh, most recently, that uh, Cool Models Werewolf 1-6 scale figure came with the most amazing full moon forest backdrop. 
which just made my day and if you saw the unboxing you know what I'm talking about um, and this came with the Alien Queen it's pretty hefty it's, it's not that exciting and I have tried taking a few pictures of the Alien Queen uh, in front of this and like I said it's just not a very exciting background so I don't think I'll actually gonna you know, use this much I would more than likely instead use this for the smaller figures maybe the Marines and the warrior aliens fighting something like that but I do appreciate that they gave it to us all right let's just uh, oh, I'm also using these handy little stands for the other little Freddies I have found these old gremlins these are old man like literally from when the first movie came out because my older sister actually gave these to me back in the 80s I don't know if you're gonna be able to see any of the print that's under of is it oh no no it's there um, let me just see what my actual eyes yes it says 1984 uh, toys limited Warner Brothers I know you guys can't see it and the paint's a little bit chipped but I could fix that but these are the originals and uh, another little original there as well again paint not holding up very well here is the spider gremlin now in the uh, one video I've done for this so far now if there's anything that needs a really creepy dark showcase video it's this just let me figure out how I'm gonna get the spider webs everywhere I'll get that to you Probably after the alien stuff because I'm more hyped to get the aliens videos happening. But I'm also very excited to bring you guys videos on this. Uh, someone asked about scale. Uh, I'm really not sure what scale this is, but there's a one-fourth scale Hot Toys Terminator, and that's it right beside it. It's effing huge. And careful because its legs get, you know, caught in things. Here is the neck of big chap. That's as close as I can get it to it. It's pretty big. But yeah, the paintwork on this is phenomenal. This, like I say, is one of the top three, or not like I say, like some other YouTubers, like the review spot have said, top three knicker pieces of all time to date. One of them, absolutely fantastic. Even with the abdomen paint job, so sharp and neatly done. Vibrant, gorgeous. Thanks for watching guys. Once again, nice little shout out for Nicholas there for all the work he's been putting in. Good YouTuber nice guy I'm just uh, thrilled to bits right now every time I look over in this particular corner and see the Queen protecting her young I just get all uh, like a big kid again absolutely phenomenal piece let's hit it from the side look at that thing okay I'll see you guys soon drop me a like leave me a comment support the vids be awesome and I will see you all soon take care of yourselves Bye -bye. Be at ECH. What you up to? Don't you hissing me, I'll burn your shit. Yeah, I told you I'll burn your shit. Burn all of it. Now let me get up in this motherfucker.